find integral cosec hx dx here we have to find the value of integral cosec hx dx or hyperbolic cosecant of x okay here we have to find the value of this integral we are at first we are going to rewrite cosec hx in the hyperbolic form that is 2 by e raised to x minus e raised to minus x dx okay now next step we are going to rewrite e raised to minus x as 1 by e raised to x now by taking lcm we will get e raised to x into e raised to x that is e raised to x square minus 1 whole divided by e raised to x that e raised to x will turn into numerator so what we will get here 2 e raised to x divided by e raised to x whole square minus 1 dx this function is not in an integrable form in order to make it into an integrable form what we are going to do is the integration by substitution method that is we are taking e raised to x equal to u okay then on differentiating with respect to x what we will get e raised to x dx equal to du Then we can rewrite this equation as e raised to x as u, sorry here u, e raised to x dx is du, that is this e raised to x dx becomes du and here q square minus 1. Now we can rewrite this 2 by u square minus 1 by 1 by u minus 1 minus 1 by u plus 1, that is by taking lcm of sorry by by simplifying this equation we will get 2 by u square minus 1 or either you can adopt partial fraction method in order to get this result so we are rewriting 2 by u square minus 1 equal to 1 by u minus 1 minus 1 by u plus 1 now on integrating we will get log mod u minus 1 minus log mod u plus 1 plus c this is the required result but since our function is in the form of x we have to rewrite it in terms of x but before that we are rewriting it as u minus 1 by u plus 1 that is log a by b equal to log a minus log b that is this can be rewritten as, re as log a that is u minus 1 divided by log b. Now, since the function is in the form of cosec hx, we have to make the function in the hyperbolic form in order to get the final result. For that, what we are going to do is, we are multiplying u minus 1 to numerator and denominator. Then we will get u minus 1 into u minus 1 which is u square u minus 1 whole square that is u square plus 1 minus 2u then u plus 1 into u minus 1 which is equal to u square minus 1 that is a plus b into a minus b why we are rewriting it like this is to make it into the hyperbolic form now in the next step we are substituting e raised to x instead of u then we will get u square as e raised to x whole square that is e raised to 2x minus 2u as minus 2 e raised to x plus 1 whole divided by e raised to 2x minus 1 okay now in order to get the final result, we are taking e raised to x outside from each term. Then we will get e raised to 2x on taking e raised to x outside will become e raised to x itself. Now, this 1 equal to e raised to x into e raised to minus x. On taking e raised to x outside, we will get e raised to minus x here. Then this minus 2 into e raised to x on taking e raised to x outside we will get minus 2 here 
on taking e raised to x outside we get e raised to x here and one is e raised to x in e raised to minus x again we get e raised to minus x here now by cancelling both e raised to x we will get that is on taking denominator and numerator in the form we we'll get e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by the denominator that is e raised to x minus e raised to minus x minus 2 by e raised to x minus e raised to minus x plus c now what is this log cot h plus c that is e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x minus e raised to minus x will give so cot h x now 2 by e raised to x minus e raised to minus x will give cosec h x so we get our function in terms of cot and sec h x that is the hyperbolic form so integral of cosec h x dx equal to log mod cot h x minus cosec h x plus c that is integral of hyperbolic cosecant of x is log mod cotan hyperbolic cotangent of x minus cosecant of x plus c hyperbolic cosecant of x plus c okay this is the final result so if you don't want the function in the hyperbolic form you can stop here by substituting e raised to x instead of u okay